You've heard about this Batman guy, right? Yes, of course you have, because Batman is one of the most recognisable characters in all of pop culture. Across comics, movies, cartoons and video games, a common theme between all the different versions of the Dark Knight is that he's, well, dark. A brooding and serious crime fighter, which makes it all the more perplexing that there have been so many storylines that are just downright bizarre. From the time he wore a rainbow suit to protect Robin's identity, to the time that Bruce Wayne was a literal priest. Yes, you heard that right. And that's what we're here to talk about today, as I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 bizarre Batman comics, too weird to be real. Number 10. Suicidal Sex Worms There's really no better way to start a list than with suicidal sex worms from space. Now the whole issue has so many weird moments in it, but Batman and Superman speaking about their feelings in the Fortress of Solitude just doesn't quite have the same je ne sais quoi as suicidal sex worms. The issue starts with Superman inviting Batman to a superhero sleepover in the Fortress of Solitude to talk about their feelings and just have an amazing bromance I guess, which I swear is the whole point of the World's Finest series. But just then they are very rudely interrupted by outer space worms. Now why were they there? Because apparently they were attracted by the raw emotion between the two heroes, which they need to mate. So Batman and Superman casually watch the worms have an orgy. Unfortunately, the worms would have to feed on the people of Earth's emotions in order to survive. But seeing the best bromance of all time, they decide not to, and let themselves pass away. Batman and Superman shed a single tear for the fallen aliens. And thus ends the tale of the suicidal sex worms. So long sex worms, we hardly knew you. Number 9. The Rainbow Suit now Batman has never really been the most colourful person, he usually sticks to his blacks, his greys and his blues, you know, it, it's classic, it's timeless. And that's why this issue of Batman sticks out the most and is so well remembered. Who wouldn't remember the caped crusader fighting crime in suits based on the colours of the rainbow? It got a reference in the Brave and the Bold animated series and even had its own action figure. The entire issue involves Batman trying to protect Dick Grayson's identity after he breaks his arm, by wearing multiple suits, one that is literally just a rainbow suit. I still don't really understand how that logic makes sense, but who am I to question the world's greatest detective, even if he is wearing a bright pink suit while punching bad guys? Number 8. Holy Terror Elseworlds, the way that DC has explored many ideas, like Batman becoming the Green Lantern, or Batman fighting Dracula. While each one has been interesting, there have been many that are just plain weird, including this entry, the one where Batman became a priest. This entire story is a very strange read. Bruce dressing up as a bat to take down the Christians who killed his parents, eventually finding Elseworlds versions of Flash and Superman kept in containment, oh yeah, and the entire world is controlled by a Christian government, which leads to some very entertaining easter eggs, like Oliver Queen being killed for publishing banned books. Overall, a fascinating comic, but also a very bizarre one, which is, you know, the whole point of this video. Number 7. Zur NR Zur NR, a phrase that is revealed to be Bruce mishearing the last words of his father, which were, the sad thing is they probably throw someone like Zorro in Arkham. Even if you haven't read the issue, you've probably seen the suit, especially since it's been in The Brave and the Bold and was a DLC skin in Batman Arkham Knight. In the issue, we have Batman on drugs, hallucinating and seeing Batmite and torturing his opponents. It's also implied that he killed some of them. So Zerinar is basically Jason Todd, but crazy. Which, to be honest, is still kind of Jason Todd. But still, while that is one version of Zerinar, there is another back from Batman's original run. Now, I won't go into details here, but it's equally as weird, if not more so. Even if it is a weird arc, it arguably has one of the greatest costumes ever created in any comic book. Number 6. Swinging a Murdered Corpse to be honest, I don't know if this should be on this list or one about the darkest Batman comics ever published, but it would fit perfectly on either. What other comic can you read that has Batman killing a criminal and dangling him from the Batplane with pride? No, I I'm seriously asking. If you can find one, please tell me. Now, this story doesn't really get weird until the end of the issue. In the climax, Batman decides to try a drastic measure. He hangs the criminal from his Batplane, where the man's neck snaps from the sheer force of flying, and Batman just decides to dangle his corpse as if it was a piñata a very limp, recently deceased piñata. After seeing the man die, he stops to try and save him. Oh wait, no, that's not what happens at all. Turns out that he continues flying and says that it's good, actually, that he died. Popular children's character Batman, everybody. Number 5. All-Star Batman Ugh, All-Star Batman and Robin. To be honest, the entire series deserves to be on this list. Frank Miller, who once made several legendary Batman comics, made this absolute train wreck of a series, and the entire thing is an even worse stain on Batman's legacy than the bladder stain he had on one of his first nights of crime fighting. More on that one later. 
Seriously, who greenlit a Batman series where he tortures Dick Grayson and has intercourse with Black Canary while criminals burn in the background? This entire series is out of character for the Caped Crusader, and is frankly so weird that this entire list could be made out of moments from this comic. We have Batman beating up criminals while screaming, I'm the goddamn Batman, with a Joker-like smile on his face. He also locks Dick Grayson in his basement and forces him to survive by eating rats in the Batcave. But to be fair, we did get Batman dressing up in yellow to beat up Hal Jordan, and any comic where Hal Jordan gets hurt is a good comic. Number 4. Bat Baby This issue has become known as one of the most ridiculous comic books of all time. It starts with a criminal scientist turning Batman's body into a baby, and that's pretty much it, that's the whole story. Bruce then modifies the bat suit to fit him and goes out to fight crime. The plot is complete and utter nonsense, but it's amazing nonetheless. Along with the rainbow suit, it's actually one of the most popular issues in the original run of Detective Comics. I'm still kind of wondering why he kept the suit as a trophy in the Batcave. I guess he just has very fond memories of his time as a baby. Number 3. Bruce Gets Batgirl Pregnant Weird and disturbing. That's the only way to describe this arc from the Batman Beyond 2.0 comic. Many comic readers who read this issue felt very uncomfortable. The entire series feels like it tried to make Bruce Wayne the scummiest person who ever existed. It starts with Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl, telling Bruce that she was pregnant, and Dick Grayson, aka Robin, is not the father. And while that's the weirdest part of the issue, it's definitely not the worst part. Bruce then decides to tell Dick the news before Barbara can, and gets into a fistfight with him. Oh, and she has a miscarriage at the end of the issue. Batman isn't known for being the cheeriest comic book character, but this one is really dark, and also really, really weird, especially given the age gap between Bruce and Babs. Number 2. The Widening Gyre if you've ever read The Widening Jaya, then you already knew that it would be on this list. Kevin Smith's sense of humour is very evident in this series, but what could you expect from the creator of Jay and Silent Bob? Batman is usually a very confident man, more known for causing fear than experiencing it. Yet Kevin Smith completely changed that with his six issue miniseries, The Widening Jaya. While Batman is talking to a sidekick he took in that isn't Robin, he describes one of his first nights fighting crime. And not just any night either, the iconic sequence from Batman Year One where the Dark Knight announces himself to Gotham's criminal underworld. But he had a little bit of an accident. Not to put too fine a point on it, Batman peed his pants while fighting crime. But don't worry Bruce, we've all been there. Right guys? Guys? Number 1. Batman Beats Up A Bear While this list is not ranked from least to most weird, this is definitely the weirdest entry on here. Batman has had a frequent history of beating up animals in comics. But this entire issue is just one weird trip that feels like you're reading a comic made by people on acid or something. This issue involves Batman drop kicking a bear in the face to save Christmas. He then puts him in a full Nelson to try and put him out for good. Could this issue get any weirder? Well, yes, it can, because he then gets attacked by a Christmas tree. This issue is just so bizarre and perfect in every way, and it's a must read for any Batman fan. The issue is Batman 285. Do yourself a favour, go and read it. Thank me later. So there we have it friends and foes, 10 bizarre Batman comics too weird to be real. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below if you did. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Panels2Pixels, subscribe to What Culture Comics, and we'll see you next time.